That's what I really want realistically. Arkham series? Absolutely not. I'm not saying I won't do Arkham, but I I I probably won't. I'm not gonna lie. Death Stranding for all the hermits. Death Stranding two. Not even the first one. I haven't played either one, but you you wanted to recommend the first one. Like that's crazy. Sean like pain? No, I don't like pain. I just like you know. Like Elden Ring was such a good experience across the board. It wasn't even just Ashley that was a horrible part of Resident Evil 4. It was Leon's slow-ass movement. It was the inconsistent-ass boss, the fucked-up hitbox in the final boss. It was so much shit that I hated. The movement was probably the most annoying. I definitely haven't finished Green Path or Cross where he just skipped a lot of areas. Okay, bro. I mean, if this is going to be like any other game where you fight the bosses in the areas and it's like, you know, I'm not going to get 100% completion on on on, on uh, Hollow Knight. It's just not happening. But I will finish it. I I'll say that. It's a nice movement, though. It's good enough movement. I don't know about those hitboxes, though, but it's good enough. It's got, like, some Cuphead-ass hitboxes. Jedi games are fun. I never played that one Star Wars game that came out. Like, is it Force? Return of the Force or some shit like that? It was supposed to be a difficult game. I don't remember what it was, though. Jedi games are Souls-like. Fall of the House of Usher. What? Is that a series? Hey, I'm willing to take another horror series, by the way. Hill House was a good show. We need to see Sean play Devil May Cry. I played it before when I was a kid. The abilities you get is crazy. You feel more OP as you go on. What, in Hollow Knight? I don't doubt it. I don't doubt it. Yeah, I finished it. It was a good show. I'm still watching The Bear. I forgot who recommended The Bear. Same director of Haunting of Hill House. Yeah, but I want something like, you know, I like the story. The story was nice, too. I almost shed a tear one time. Like, I need it on the same level. Wait, what was the show? Something about Usher and, like, rabies or some shit? Watch from it's a great storyline. Devil May Cry is God of War's daddy. It's also Final Fantasy 16's daddy. Fall of the House of Usher. Bly Manor. I'm not gonna lie to you. When I look, I looked up Bly Manor and um that other one that the same dude directed, I think, or created. And I ruined the end of my series, uh, end of the series for one of them for myself, just on purpose, just to see like what it was. I think it was more of like a love story, one of them, which I wasn't as into. Haunting of Bly Manor and Midnight Mass, the fall of the House of Usher. I'm gonna try Usher, and I'm gonna try. I might try Midnight Mass. I don't know. I gotta finish the bear first though. When I finish the bear, then I'm going to start the House of Usher, the fall of the House of Usher. And then um, I don't have any other series. that I need. Well, I need to finish. What's that one show? I need to finish part two of season four of you. And then I need to finish. What's that other one? What's that other one called? Gen Z. Midnight Mass is good. Let me see. Is this my phone? I mean, is this the right phone? Midnight Mass. Let me see. Let me see. I got to type this shit like. What the fuck is this? All right, bro. Mob Psycho Season 3. I got to write out a list of shows that I'm supposed to finish. Okay. So, number one. 
the house of usher or whatever the the fall of the house of usher fall house usher usher raymond i need to finish blue lock you season four part two gen v um mob psycho season three i need to finish that zom 100 show that zombie anime i kind of want to finish that i was only four episodes in or five when i stopped i am gonna watch them i'm just saying it's like shows that i need to watch i'll have to put i'll put midnight mass next to this one and then i gotta finish the bear i got seven shows seven series to finish Oh yeah, I post, I'm supposed to watch Peaky Blinders too. Let me see what that's about. iPhone corrected to pesky. How good is Pete? Like on a scale of one to ten, on a scale of one to the wire, how good is 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 Pinky Blinders? Strong nine. It's not close to the wire. Which bear, Ted or Cocaine? The bear with the, 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 the restaurant owner in Chicago, that bear. It's only a seven and a half? Y'all don't like Peaky Bl I've heard nothing but good thing. No, 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 not the Cocaine Bear. I already saw Cocaine, cocaine Bear with my cousin when he came over for Thanksgiving. Really stupid fucking movie. I heard nothing but great things from uh, people who watch Peaky Blinders. It's cool, but it's not that good. Whoa, whoa. I feel like there's some hateration happening, but I also believe you at the same time. I'm terrified of investing into a show that's just going to be okay. Okay, Nicole, give me another 10 out of 10 show perfect, and then I'll see if you're hyping it or not. Give me like a top three, and then I can take it. I, then I, then I'm going to fully invest. Have I seen Beef? No, I haven't seen Beef yet. Ted is a 2000s-ass movie. I don't know how they got a new one made. No, it's a series now, which I might watch because I saw, like, a funny moment, but I don't know if I will, actually. I'll give you a good movie, but you should read the book. Hey, give me everything. Horror show. Penny Dreadful. Seasons one or two and two are good and crazy. Penny Dreadful. You know what's crazy? I I loved, I fell in love with Succession, and I never watched the end of the series. I think I was like on episode seven of season four or something like that. I forgot which season they ended off on, but I completely forgot. And I still haven't watched it. I don't know. I just haven't I haven't finished it. I just stopped watching it. I, I mean, it's not the first show that's happened with where I watched so much of it and then I completely stopped. I still haven't seen the last episode of The Last of Us, the the real life series. Still haven't watched the last episode of that, even though it's been it was great the entire time I was watching it. I don't know why I didn't watch the last episode. Um, it was that. It was Succession. It was. I know you're saying what I just I, for some reason, if I just stop before I, if I lose just random interest, I'll just I'll watch a show. I'll be super invested and I might lose random interest out of nowhere. What's my top three TV shows? Well, I'm going to say The Wire. Breaking Bad. And. It's really hard to, to compare to those two. And love for completely different reasons. I mean, The Wire, Breaking Bad, and shit. I really enjoy Better Call Saul, but for completely different reasons than I enjoy Breaking Bad. Like, if you really handed me a show like Better Call Saul on paper, I probably wouldn't like it. But it was a really good show.
And I like the way everything wrapped up. I do. Damn, I don't remember. I don't know what the last one would be. Like, what are the greatest shows I've ever seen in my life? It's very few shows that start well, are good almost the entire way through, and end strong. It's very hard to do something like that. I would say maybe Attack on Titan. They were slower parts. Game of Thrones, if they didn't fuck up their writing past like season six or seven, I would easily put them in that time in that conversation. Like up until maybe season five, Game of Thrones would have had it. That would have been easily in my top three. I have watched Ozark. Ozark, another movie, another show that ended horribly. Just a dumb fucking ending. Horrible fucking rushed ass, bullshit ass ending. Fucked up the whole show for that last episode. Oh, I hated I hated the end of Ozark. So my, I, you know how many people I got on board to watch that show with me? And we sat there watching the last shit like, what the fuck is this? Barry, same situation. Barry ended like shit. It wasn't horrible, but it could have been so much better. I hate I hate shows like that where I'm so invested, I'm so into it, and then they just fuck up the ending. They don't know how to wrap it up. They don't know how to close. And I punched that nigga. It's going down in here. I'm with the money team. Game of Thrones ending was tragic. Another one. Ass. Like my boy did all of that shit. Never mind. I'm not even going to spoil. You know what? I don't. I can't even recommend Game of Thrones in good faith. That's the fucked up part. Game of Thrones has so many amazing moments, and I can't recommend it in good faith, knowing how it ends. Same thing with Ozark. Same thing with 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 Barry. Even though Barry is like at least funny, and there's like a a element that you don't have to invest too much time into it because the the episodes aren't that long. Thoughts on Snowfall? Snowfall got ass after a while. Like I get it, but they just stopped having like realistic moments. Um I get the 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 time frame that they were trying to exist in, but nah, like I still can't I still can't get it. I still can't like fully invest. It was a good it had good moments though. It had really good moments. I could still recommend it because the ending is still somewhat realistic. But I wouldn't say it's like one of my favorites. Never care for Game of Thrones. Game of Thrones is, 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 oh my God, I'm so, like, my sister hated me for weeks. She hated me for weeks. She got so invested into the show. She And that is not her type of show. I remember, I remember begging, I was pleading with her to watch it. And she finally watched it. She got hooked. She got into the seasons. She was start, she was texting me and calling me about it. I'm like, okay, like you're really into it. And then I start why I saw the last scene. I'm like, oh fuck. I feel like shit right now. I gotta watch the leftovers. It was a crazy experience. The leftovers? Hold on. Let me see what the leftovers. I think I heard of that before. The leftovers. What the fuck? Bro, 2014 though? I can't say that though because I started watching Breaking Bad during COVID. I started watching Breaking Bad during COVID, my guy. Like a little bit before the pandemic started. So I can't really shit on older shows. I wonder what this is about. It's a drama? I don't know. I never watched like White Lotus. I was meaning to, though. I was meaning to. I haven't given that a chance yet. It looked like a decent show. It's only one season in, though. I don't know if they can fully get me to invest with one season. True Detective? Nah, I haven't watched it. Have I watched this horror movie called When Evil Lurks? No. I'm not a Big Bang Theory fan. But I haven't watched it either, so. Can't say that I wouldn't be. You know what I was a fan of for like maybe a season was um that one show that had Charlie Sheen on it. I forgot the name of it though. 
I watched that for a little bit. It was kind of funny every now and again. What the fuck is that? What did you just say? When evil lurks. Let me see. Two and a half men. That's what it was. Yeah, there it is. Two and a half men. That was kind of funny. I'm not going to lie. For like a season and a half. When evil lurks. Let me see. This is new? The fuck is this? Why have I not heard of this? Residents of a small town discover a demon is about to be born among them. They're desperately trying to escape. Maybe too late. Bro, I swear to God, I sit around. I I wait for movies, like, in the horror capacity to come out. And I swear I'm on top of it. I don't know how that slipped through. Why are y'all laughing? When Evil Lurks is by the dude who made Terrifier. <laughs> Terrifier is a funny movie, though. Terrifier not scary, but it's like, it's still a, it's, I don't know, it's still a really fun movie. Like, it's not supposed to be good, but it's still good. Anger Management was an underrated Charlie Sheen show. Anger Management? Yeah, it was fun, bad. After season five, it drops heavy, though. Wait, what show are you talking about? No, that clown is fucking, f he hilarious. I still remember when he died, I guess, like, quote, unquote, died, and he gets up and he shoots the girl. I Like, he gets a pistol out of nowhere at one point. That's what sold me on the movie. That was the moment where I was like, okay, this movie is a 10 out of 10. When he shot her, when he shot her the fuck up. That was funny as hell. I think it was the first Terrifier. That was funny. I forgot who I was watching with. Me and my, me and my men, we were laughing like, we were laughing crazy about that. Have I seen Arcane? Yes. I recently watched that and I finished it and I'm desperately waiting on season two and I wish I didn't finish season one because shit, that was a good show. Succession was fantastic front to back. I think it's a good top three to five pick for you. Yeah, I got to finish it. I got like three episodes left, maybe four. Who fucked you up with what movie? My friend took me to the movies. And I was like, what are we even watching? Oh. <laughs> Wait, y'all went to go see Terrifier in theaters? Oh, the second one. The second one was cool, too. They were both fun. I never really, I don't really experience horror movies that are that bad that are also, like, fun experiences, too. Like, that's what Halloween tried to be when they tried to, re like, revive it, but it just was bad. It just ended up being bad. Oh, you know what else I got to watch? Hold on. I got to watch. Um, What is that movie called? First of all, we're evil lurks. I need to or when evil lurks. I got to watch that. But I also got to wait. Whoever recommended evil lurks. Is that on the same lines of the terrifier? Because I hope not. I actually want to get scared. What was that other show? You just you literally just said it. You just said it. Ah, uh, what is that movie? The new Godzilla. I haven't watched the new Godzilla yet. I need to watch that. Godzilla Zero, I think it was. I want to watch that. I haven't seen it yet. I also want to watch that uh, new Minus One. Okay, it's Minus One, not Zero. Minus One. Wait, wouldn't that just be Zero? Haven't gotten scared of a horror movie since Sinister 1. Sinister 1 wasn't even scary. But I say that about, like, almost every horror movie. It's very, very rare that a horror movie is actually, like, super, like, genuinely scary. Now, what is scary is the ending of Talk To Me. I still think that was written really well. Sinister had great jump scares? I don't think so. Well, I'm not going to say they didn't have great jump scares. I just don't think that they w it was a good movie. That one lawnmower scene did fuck me up for a second. Because I'm like, where the fuck did that come from? Okay, you haven't seen Talk To Me? You have to watch that. You have to watch that movie. You have to watch that movie. That is one of the most dreadful horror films I've ever seen. And it was a, it was a genuinely good movie still. It was still a good watch.
No, I mean, I, like, yeah, scary is subjective, but, like, when people say scary to me, I feel like they g generally mean disturbing, which is cool, but I mean, like, I'm actually trying to get scared. Not by myself, I'm not. It's not what you think. Like, Talk To Me isn't heavy on jump scary, like, you can't watch this movie in the dark ass movie. It's like a uh, psychological, dreadful, suspenseful, drama ish kind of movie. It's fucked up though. It's fucked up. It's different. It's nice though. You could definitely watch it by yourself at 10 o'clock at night. I'd probably recommend like a 6 p.m. watch, though, when it's snowing outside and it's almost dark. What dog? Wreck fucked me up for a while. I needed light by me at all times. What the fuck is Wreck? They're making a sequel going over the origins of Talk to Me? I mean, that seems cool, but I think they did so well with the story on Talk To Me with the girl. I think they did a great job with her story. I wouldn't think that they would need to do. Now, what they could do like a sequel series. I wouldn't want a prequel, but they could do like a sequel series where I really wouldn't want that to happen, though, because the way that that just, uh, that just that's such a dreadful Oh, I hate that movie, but I love it at the same time, but I hate it. You want to be jump scared and laugh about it? I want to be, I don't really want to be jump scared. I want a deeply unsettling feeling. If you can pull off a jump scare really well, then cool, fine. But a deeply unsettling movie, like, I cannot... I got to look behind me. I'm afraid to go into the kitchen in the middle of the night. You know, I can't go to the bathroom in the middle of the night without turning the light on. Like that type of scare is what I need. I want something that I'm thinking about for days. Something that might like keep me up at night. Yes, I do want to be traumatized. I do. The best moment in, uh, in the hunting of Hill house was when she called, uh, when she was telling, uh, it wasn't Luke. I forgot his name. What the fuck is the oldest brother's name on Hill House? When she called him an eat, when he when she called him an eater, that was my favorite scene. Strangers, us fuck up. What do you mean? You mean strangers will fuck you up? Strangers didn't do shit to me. It was cool though. The house that Jack built is traumatizing. Is it like super scary though? Let me see. The house that Jack built. What the fuck? It's a horror crime. That's weird. I don't usually see horror crime like movies. What the fuck? Maybe I'll check it out. It's two and a half hours. I like long movies. No, I, I don't mind them. I don't like, I think, like I said before, I believe that we need to get back to the era of making real life scary again. Okay. We don't have to just be supernatural thriller suspense every fucking movie. It don't need to be a story about a fucking ghost or somebody getting possessed. Like make a serial killer or make a, you know, a stalker. Like, those could be very scary things, too. Like, you got to figure out how to make real life scary again. Without, like, immediately going the supernatural route. The house that Jack built is cursed? Really? Okay, I'm trying to get disturbed. Hills have eyes with just a bunch of R word going on. Really? I never watched the Hills have eyes. I'd love for that fucking Uzumaki anime to get complete so I can recommend it. What's Uzumaki? I feel like I know what it is, though, but I, I kind of don't. They're unoriginal, though. What's unoriginal? The supernatural ones or the ones that don't go the supernatural route? 
We haven't gotten a Jason, Michael, Freddy type of movie in so long. Well, that's because most of the time nobody's walking around in a mask and not getting shot. Like we got an era where like you need to you need to capitalize on the idea that most like nine times out of ten, somebody that's trying to be killed has a gun and they're smart enough to shoot the fucking killer. And you can't walk around with a fucking knife stabbing people or a big ass machete or Wolverine arms invading people's dreams. It don't work for long. I can't take spooky house horror serious because it's like niggas just leave. Nah, I like the ones where it's like you try to leave, but the the house don't let you or the curse follows you. Like you can do haunted house well, but I like haunted I like haunted people more. What was that one movie? Um, Drag Me to Hell. I think they did the concept decent, you know, even though the movie wasn't that great. What you mean y'all fake? Insidious was good for that? I never watched Insidious. My favorite horror movie? I don't even know. I'm so fickle when it comes to horror. I like to say that I have an idea of what my favorite is, but I'm so indecisive. And I feel like if I give a response to that genuinely, like you can't really take my horror suggestion serious. But at the same time, I don't take anybody else's horror suggestion serious. It's hard. Like all time scariest movie I've ever seen. I'm drawing a blank and I've seen so many. Watch old boy from 2003. It's not horror, but I promise you that it will mess you up bad. Don't look up anything about it. Let it surprise you. I guarantee you will never forget it. Oh boy. You know what you know what was a good movie? I don't remember I don't remember because I haven't seen it in years. Literally probably over twenty years I haven't seen that movie. The paper boy. I don't remember why that movie fucked me up so much when I was a kid. But it never left my thought. I think it's a few scenes of this nigga being on his bike. That movie fucked me up now that I think about it. The paper boy was a fucked up movie. Wreck is an hour and 30 minutes long. The suspense in that movie's unmatched. Okay, I'm going I'm to type both of these in then. I screenshotted the house that Jack built, Rat, Wreck, and what'd you say, that other one, Old Boy? What the fuck is, but, whoa! What did I just type in? They made three of these bitches? Spanish found footage. Oh my god, he's trying to take me down that route. The raid is fire. No, I already seen the raid. I've already watched the raid. What's old boy? Let me see. Thriller action. Is this nigga eating octopus? I'm not looking it up. I just, I just, um, I mean, I Googled it to see how long it was, but I screenshotted it. I don't actually look at or read any, uh, and read any of the, like the reviews or nothing like that. I just screenshot so I don't forget. Tales from the Hood, Octopus, Best Seafood. Okay. Top five movies, all genres. Oh my God, you're killing me. Okay, Pineapple Express. I'm going to give you one from each genre. Pineapple Express. Uh, my favorite. I'm not going to say best, but my favorite. Pineapple Express. Boys in the Hood. Uh, what's a good drama? Prisoners. Not saying Prisoners is a drama, but Prisoners is fucking amazing. Um... I feel like a bit of a wanker for putting twenty for putting Interstellar in there. I don't want to say that. I don't want to put Interstellar in my shit for real. 
Minister Society or Dead Presidents? Nah, those are favorites. Those are like real personal favorites, though. I wouldn't recommend someone watch Dead Presidents or Minister Society because I genuinely, outside of my bias and love for those movies growing up, I don't think they're good enough movies like on their own, like story wise and, you know, um, acting wise and everything like that. I think it's significantly better movies. Minister Society was better than Boys in the Hood. Nah, I can't say that. I don't think so. I think it was it told it was a lot more gruesome and maybe a little bit more real than Boys in the Hood and even realistic. I wouldn't say it was better, though. It kind of did that like they did their own ways justice because Boys in the Hood's point was kind of how and Trey I'm could turn up different it's going down in here. I'm with the money team. because of the influence of, you know, parents that cared about him and wanted him to walk a straight path versus everybody else in his environment that didn't. And then even if you go to Kane's perspective, he was just raised by his grandparents and that was it. But he got into what he got into. They couldn't do enough. You know what I'm saying? I like both perspectives, though, but the way Minister Society did it was kind of just like, um, it was more real, more raw, but I didn't like the acting as much. I'm trying to think. Okay, so I got Pineapple Express, Boys in the Hood, Prisoners. I want to say The Green Room. The Green Room was a fucked up movie unnecessarily fucked up i might take it out but it will be an honorable mention easily the green room is probably one of my favorite movies um damn what's two more movies that were like fantastic phenomenal watches the lion king kind of go without saying i don't really want to say that Nah, the way that was a fucked up thing. Damn, what is my what are my last two greatest movies all time? Just great, insane watches from start to finish. I can't think of a horror movie right now, bro. What horror movie fucked me up? No. Nah. Nah, that wasn't one. Nah, that wasn't it either. What was that one movie with with, uh, with, with Paul Walker? And they running from uh uh. Nah, it wasn't Road Trip. It was it was another it was another name for it. Fuck, I don't remember the name of that movie. I like that one a lot too, though. Not not speed. Yeah, it had a it was Candy Cane. They was talking to Candy Cane. Or they were they were Candy Cane. Not Fast and Furious. I forgot the movie name. It's been so long. Somebody gotta have seen it. There's no way. It's not Fast and the Furious. Joyride. There you go. It was Joyride. Joyride. I love Joyride. Joyride's a really fun movie. I think it said Fast and the Furious. I didn't say car themed. I said they were running from him. Damn, what's one more? No, I, I still, I wouldn't put that in my top five though. I had Pineapple Express, Boys in the Hood, Prisoners. Maybe I'll put the green room in there for now. Fuck it. I, I got I got nothing. I don't know why I can't think of another one. The Dark Knight? The Dark Knight is fantastic. The Dark Knight is a phenomenal movie. Fuck. I feel like I should I shouldn't put it in there, but like as far as like hero movies go, it easily is one of the best ones. Oh, Goodfellas. Goodfellas. I'm going to keep Goodfellas in there. 
do I put the Dark Knight, Goodfellas, Boys in the Hood, Pineapple Express, and Prisoners in a top five? I don't. I know. Nah, I wouldn't put it top five. I mean, I could just say favorite movies at the moment. I'll just put it in there. Fuck it, you know. Casino is good. I've seen Casino. Casino is cool. What do you mean prisoners with that ending? The prisoners ending was great. It was fucked up because it leaves so much space open, but it was still great. Whiplash was a phenomenal movie. Whiplash was so good. Step Brothers is a funny movie. Step Brothers did awkward comedy like really, really well at the perfect time. The Irishman? Nah, I, don't, I wasn't a fan. By the time I got to The Irishman, I just kind of I kind of lost interest in the whole mob thing. Have I seen Green Inferno? Um, if it's no, I probably haven't. I probably haven't. His take on Hereditary was ass, bro. I don't find Hereditary to be a scary movie. Like I wish I found it. It it was might have been a little creepy. Favorite movie this year? Nothing came out this year that was really my favorite outside of Talk to Me. Outside of that, I didn't really see many movies this year. I don't think. Let me see. List of 2023 movies. Oh, I haven't watched Oppenheimer either. I still haven't watched that. Wait a minute. List of 2023 movies. Still haven't watched that fucking movie, bro. Wait, what the fuck? No, no, no. Spider-Verse. Okay, so Spider-Verse was the one. And... Talk to me. There has to be another one that I, that I, that I watched that I'm just forgetting about. I haven't watched Past Lives. I want to watch Past Lives at some point. What the fuck is this? I didn't watch that new Gal Guardians of the Galaxy. Didn't watch John Wick. I'm not going to watch The Color Purple. Yeah, I got to watch Godzilla Minus One. The Boy and the Heron was amazing. That animated movie? I haven't watched that yet. I want to. Blue Beetle? I'm not going to lie, bro. I stopped watching John Wick after the second movie because I, for the first time in my life, I think I remember watching that with me and my sister like 10 years ago or something like that. John Wick 2, I actually sat down and I was like, yo, this is too much action for me. Like, I'm actually bored by how much action there is right now. Equalizer 3 was fun. Yeah, but I don't take Denzel serious as the equalizer, so I can't. It's like hard to watch it. If they got a younger actor to do it that acts as well as Denzel, then I probably will watch it. But I can't. I can't get into Denzel doing it. Like a sixty-five, like taking out niggas that are like a quarter of his age. I just don't see it. His son would make more sense. And his son is actually a decent actor. Like, outside of the nepotism shit, like, his son is actually, he acts well. You ain't never seen an old man be six niggas in eight seconds? No, I haven't. He was great in Tenet, still haven't seen Tenet. I saw uh, The Klansman, though. I liked him in The Klansman. Damn. Let me see. Let me see what else I got. Godzilla minus one. Those are the movies I got to see soon. 
damn, Thursday my nephew's coming by. Friday I won't be here either. Today's Monday? Let me see. Ooh. I could take that. I would. Post in game Marvel is so trash. Not gonna lie, that movie felt long and confusing. What movie? Tenet? I heard that a lot. I heard a lot of people got confused by Tenet. That's why I don't want to watch it. I hate movies by the end of them that it's like, oh, I gotta look up a video to understand what this is. Like, bro, just keep it simple. Hit me with some cool shit, some calm shit, please. Netflix? Nah. I mean, I... Ooh. Okay. Tinted is man. Time travel shit. Yeah, you, you start losing me when you start traveling through time, bro. That, that's that's where you lose me. You never... They never end up doing that, doing that well. And it's such a cheap... Such a cheap little trope to put in a movie. Wait, what? <sighs> Wait, who don't like who don't like the Across the Spider Verse ending? Say something so I can bang you. Jackie Chan versus Jet Li. Who y'all got in a fight? Jet Li. Jet Li is waxing the fuck out of Jackie Chan, goofy ass. Sorry, it's not even a competition. He's getting fucked. He's getting fucked. Easily. It's unfortunate, too. I fuck with Jackie, too, though. Like, on some real shit. He, he On some calm shit. Like, Jackie that nigga for real. But, like, he not going toe-to-toe -to -toe with my mans. If you ever want a show that does time travel right and damn near perfect... Oh, damn near perfect. Dark from Netflix is him. My cousin recommended me that, but I still haven't watched it yet. I might. I might. I might. I might tune in. I like Spider-Verse. Just the ending is not for me. Yeah, but it's not an ending, Coda. It's a it's like a it's a segue. I don't like the Spider-Verse across the Spider-Verse ending isn't like an ending. Cause if you just if you just go into the next movie when it ultimately comes out, it's not an ending. That movie will be an ending. Now, what did have an ending was the first Spider film was the first Spider Verse movie. That had an ending. This don't have an ending. Dark makes Stranger Things look like a Disney Channel show. Really? Well, I kind of want to see that then. I might I might check out Dark. Exactly. It's not an ending. That's why I don't like it. I like it more if the movies were back to back. Spider-Verse 1 had a proper ending. Yeah. I'm not trying to trick you into liking it either. You know? Because, like, if you wanted a more complete quote-unquote movie, that's fine. But I just don't have a problem with it because there wasn't a way to wrap up the events in the second movie without rushing an ending. So it's like, why do that? I got to the last 15 minutes of the movie and I thought to myself, how the fuck are they going to close this? And I never thought that it would end the way it ended, which it wasn't really an ending, but I still liked it. What would you like to be the last movie you watch before you bite the bullet? What the fuck? Who's thinking of that? But if I had to watch my last movie ever... I think it would be my dog, Skip. I don't know why that movie holds such a special place in my heart. My dog, Skip, is one of my favorite movies of all time. And it's not even that great. I just like the movie. My dog, Skip, is such a wholesome like movie to me. I, I don't know why. I still love that movie, bro. I watched it all the time when I was a kid. How about a real... What the fuck? Nigga, what? Like... 
like, why wouldn't you want to watch your feel good movie before you die? You ask a stupid fucking question, and then I give you a wholesome answer. You guys still got a problem with it. What the fuck? I don't even remember if he died or not, to be honest. I just remember when he got him. Dying to that is kind of wild, though. I don't know. I mean, dying in general is wild, but all right. You want to put a movie attachment in front of it? That's cool. Anything with Violet Myers in it, to be honest. Who's Violet Myers? Give me her uh, filmography. I don't know what I want to watch in my last day. I probably wouldn't be watching TV or videos on my last day. I'd probably jump into the ocean and hit it, like, hit hit it, like, at a million miles a second. Don't search. She's a great actress. P-star. Oh, she a porn star. Watching porn before you Mine's go is interstellar. I wouldn't watch that before I go. I mean, if it couldn't be my dog, Skip. Nah, Stand By Me is a fucked up movie, bro. I like Stand By Me, too. If I had to have a group of friends and me die at the same time, we would have to watch Stand By Me. That would, that would have to be the one. What do you mean, what if you made the porn? What are you talking about? What porn? When did y'all get on this? Water friends got to go too? I mean, we're around the same age. It's kind of fucked up for me to go and then them not come with me. But all right. My mans go. I'm going with them. You know what I'm saying? That's just how I'm moving. You watch it if it was yours. Why would I watch it? I got it fresh in my mind. I sent you the Shoegaze Metal album and you never wrote back. I don't know what you're talking about. Like in a DM? Wait, what? Wait, what album would you play before dying? Oh, I might have to check. Um, Album? Oh, my God, bro. Luban. Luban is the album I will play. That or Marvin Gaye's What's Going On. Oh, my God. Those, those two albums will have me crying my eyes out. I think I, I, think I would actually pick Luban. Yeah, I would. I would. I would pick Luban over anybody. I'd be damned if the last thing I heard was rap. What the fuck? There's nothing wrong with that. What if you wanted to hear the cool from Lupe before you died? Food and liquor before you passed away. Like, what's wrong with that? It's mad shit. You could hear, you could hear, uh, uh, what do you call that one album? You could hear Astro World before you die. It has a lot of good memories to it, bro. You could hear that the Carter Two before you die. Going out to honor kill the samurai. That's a good album. That's a good album to go out to. In terms of car records, I'll probably do Descendants of Cain before that one, though, before Honor Killed the Samurai. If you only got to have one song, though, if I'm picking one song. Nah, I can't do that. I'll cry. I'll cry. I don't want to be sad before you, before you die. I don't want you to, like, people shouldn't be sad. Hey, you have a good time on Power World. Dying in a hotel room on September 21st at exactly 4.35 p.m. So you want me to snipe you? Yeah. 
bro. Came back at two and y'all still here. I'm about to go. I'm about to get off. Begin the last thing is masturbating. Yeah, I'm definitely about to get off. Yeah, after that one. And yeah, not the way you thinking. Like, why would you say that? Last song I'm picking is Light of the Seven. Wait, is that the... There's no way that's the... Is that the Game of Thrones theme? Or am I tripping? I think I'm tripping. Yeah, I think I'm tripping, right? I am not tripping. That is the Game of Thrones. Wow. That is a great score. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. That's an amazing score. <laughs> I forgot how good that score was. What the fuck? I got mad scores I could play. If that's if that's the game that you're trying to play. If that's if that's really what you're trying to do, hold on. I'm gonna end off to a score. I got a score from the Haunting of Hill House. I take scores from everywhere. I got arcane scores in here. I got scores from Kiba. Which I'm surprised they even had on Apple Music. Attack on to Oh my god, this one would kill me. I would hate it. This, I would hate to go to this one. I would hate to go to this. Like, knowing your last moments are going to come to that song, you're going to be weeping. This kind of ass, bye. All right, you have zero taste in anything. I'm surprised you're alive. Wait a minute. Or I could go out to something crazy and powering. What about this? Or you die. That's what I said. You fucking idiot. You don't know how to follow instructions. Hold on. Okay, I got one more. Oh my god, Shiro Sakasu, why are you like this? Wait, what about this one? Wait, what about this one? Why do I have the entire soundtrack for this downloaded? I don't remember that. When did I download this? Oh no, nah, this one might got it. Wait, what where'd it go? Was this it? So when you Oh fuck out of here. Actually that's not bad though. Was this it? It's alright, you're not ready for it. That's cool, bro. Wait, what about this one? Oh my god, I haven't heard Nobody knows what this is from. Without Shazamming, niggas don't know what this is and like she know after she shazammed my shit. You know what I'm saying? Like it's alright. It's alright. We don't oh, we're not all born with the sauce. It's cool at the end of the day. Like, I get it. I get what you got to do. You know what I'm saying? Make yourself feel included. It's just not me, though. Like, come on, gang. Like, on some chill shit. On some calm shit. Wait, what is this? Did I even have this? Wait, why are you saying that? Why everything got to be deep inside? Because that's, like, the best feeling. You don't really appreciate things until they're deep within you. And I think that's the thing that we all should really, like, hold and maintain. It's like, if we don't have that, we really don't have nothing. What is this? Yeah. Oh, that's the slow version of that. I'm like, what the fuck? No mistake. No mistake. What the fuck is this? Oh, this is so long ago. Y'all finding tracks from like 2014. What the fuck is that? No. <laughs> I remember this song. Oh my God. This song is so much. It's been so long since I listened to them. Wow. Oh man, that's such a great, that's such a great song. That's such a great time. Oh man. Made me buy some Astro Glide. What do you mean by that? You got a squeaker in your house or something? Nah, I'm actually going through these tracks. It's like, what the fuck did I have in here? Oh, 
Oh my god. I'm not gonna play this whole thing at all, but just the first first little situation. I'm not gonna do that because it's not the time for that. It's gonna put me in a different mode. And I gotta get my hair done soon. Hold on, wait. Yeah, I'm not gonna listen to that yet. Not yet, not yet, not yet. Nah, I can't do it. I don't wanna do it yet. I know, I know, I know. We all love D'Angelo. We all love D'Angelo, but I can't do that yet. That's just bad. Why would I do that to myself? Chill, 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 chill. What the fuck? Oh, I haven't had her now in so long. I need to see what she's up to. It's been a minute since I heard her music. Where the fuck is this album? Chad, I think I'm a fraud. I think I lied. I don't think it's in here no more. It. Oh, I gotta listen to that new currency track. Fuck. He's nothing but a teaser. Bro. If I play that, remember the cooler movie Super Saiyan Transformation theme? Yeah, but I didn't like it like that. I replayed it, though. I did replay it a lot. Now, the Broly Transformation theme is where it really was. That's where that's that's where that's where life really changed for you. You don't really you don't really progress through the society until you hear that by itself. I forgot who plays that too, by the way. You gotta give me a title on it. I forgot completely. When did I put this on Apple? Did I put this on here myself? Oh I did. No, this been on here for months. This been on here for years. I'm like, how the fuck did they get this? Who the fuck is Jason? They're making me feel something. Why would they even do some shit like this? <laughs> I don't want them to get started. Fuck. I don't want that to happen. Nah, you a freak. No, I'm not. Quit being weird. I never said that. Also, if you're going to say it, you you introduce them as the stylistics. You don't introduce their song name. You introduce them as the stylistics. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Wait, where is it? Where's that one I'm thinking of? Holy shit. This is so. Why do I have this on here? Ain't no wait. You don't know what the fuck that is. Calm the fuck down. You unk for real? Nah, chill. That was actually weird as fuck. <laughs> Back, bro. I don't want to do that. <laughs> I don't want to do that, bro. Because he's dead. He's fucking dead. He's fucking dead. Why would I do that if he's fucking dead? Oh my god, that's actually an incredible song, bro. What the fuck is wrong with me? He's actually dead. I'm gonna cry. I'm gonna shed tears. It's like it's like it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a one singular tear forming. Wait, I don't remember Gwendolyn's apprehension like that, but I remember liking the beat a lot. Oh wait, maybe it was it was it this? No, it wasn't this. It was padded locks. That's what it was. Oh yeah, I fucked that up. I, I fucked. I, I mean, I fucked with it a lot. That's what I was trying to say. I didn't mean I fucked it a lot. I meant like I fucked with it a lot. I fuck with that like heavy. Bro, you know how long it's been since I heard Mo Bamba? Oh no, bro. Why is everybody dead? Come on, dude. Why is this showing up? What happened in this time frame? Bro, life ain't fair, man. I got to remember to play this again later. Why is this not even here? I don't like, I don't like, I don't like this. No, Sheck West isn't dead. Grogs is, though. 
I did not mean to scroll past this. I didn't. Not one to take the high road, so I start now. Feels like I lost my way and I'm not trying to be found. And I'm not the type to go and use a GPS. Let the liquor take the kid away like CPS. I love that J-line talking about CBS. I've been doing the same since so I can CBS. Man, this ain't a swan song. You can go and save your tissues. Not too many were there when I was dealing with my issues. Fucking up. Regretting all the time that I missed you. Songs start going up and I get hit with, oh, I missed you. Same number since so far so you can miss me with the excuse. Yeah, I'm not too hard to find. You know where I be. Probably posted up with my niggas and my family. Feeling pressure in the pocket and I started scrambling. A couple yards is better than a loss, right? I can't be the only one that's feeling lost, right? Plastic confidence, I know you see it through. Nothing fails faster than a reboot. Nothing feels only like a half Why do you do that, man? Spiral twist over it. Plastic confidence, I know you see it through. Nothing fails faster than a reboot. Nothing feels only like a half truth. Calm down, calm down. Twist. Hey, how you doing? I know it's been a minute since we talked, but man, how you been? Seeing dad at the barbershop and shit, it felt like you, kid. Never realized how much he looked like you, shit. Man, I swear that you could free like 600 bars without losing it, man. I'll never love this rap shit, but not as much as you did. I said, the name of the game, Wait, these were so good. Nigga make the money and don't let it make the team. Go to sleep, bro. These were so good. I hate that they stopped this. Face, nigga, I think I can fade you now. What? Yeah. Fade me out. Shit on this rap shit. Come on, nigga. I put my top in my heart. This shit's fucked up. Now show a nigga where the war at. Cause I'm about to clean house. Stick this AK up your ass and blow that fucker clean up. Cause you niggas in the road. You came up short and now we're barely get it going on. I ain't your average motherfucker. You step out of line and watch your motherfucker push. Cause you came and be the wrong. We gonna have a Scarface Appreciation Day one day on stream. I promise. I didn't completely, I didn't completely like went off the deep end, off the rails, cause I don't even know what the fuck I'm looking for no more, bro. Now I'm just, now I'm just clicking on shit. I don't even remember what the fuck I was doing. Oh my god, are you serious right now? You wouldn't do this. You wouldn't do this. You wouldn't dare do this. Oh, you would. Why the fuck is that a part of this? What the fuck? No, nah, I don't want to do that. I don't want to do... Bro, Bill Withers is dead too. Oh, no. Okay. This will be the song. And then this is where we end it. I'm not, I mean, it's gone. Whatever, bro. This will be, this will be the one. This will be the one that I will end on. This will be the one, now that I think about it. That's gonna be your last, that's gonna be your last moment. So those are records that you gotta play. They gonna be looking.
Grandpa, no, don't go. Don't go. I love you guys. Oh. Shit fire. Shit fire. What are you, a bunny rabbit? I'm trying to be a real fucker, bro. I really am. I got to pop them out. When I really sit back and think about it, one wife might not be enough. I'm not doing bad. I'm just saying. I really want to, like, I should really try to make sure I pop out at least 15 to 20 of them in my 30s. Maybe another 16 to 20 in my 40s. And, like, maybe cut off there, maybe, kind of. Nah, even if I had no kids, I wouldn't be alone. That's the crazy part. But I should. I should just have a big family. I need to, like, work on having a huge family, like, sooner rather than later. I got, like, maybe seven years, though, before I start, to be honest. I'm not even being unserious. How is that not wholesome? Get hella turtles. Nigga, I will eat a turtle. You're not an anime character? I don't have to be to have a large family, bro. I hope at least one of the 85 a cool person. I mean, all of them will be, unfortunately. You know? It's just not in our DNA or lineage to be uncool, to be losers you know what i'm saying should not my dna why would you eat them i feel like turtles probably taste good out of the shell what's my first child's name look we went over this already y'all might not be big fans of fiona but like i said before kovu is a great name i think i would name my first son kovu 100 percent. it also goes with my last name very well um second if i'm not gonna do fiona you know, first kid name, I could easily be like on some, um, damn, who said C was my last name, you fucking idiots, nah, Fiona fire, I'm not gonna lie, Fiona is fire. Niggas don't respect Fiona Apple. That's what's crazy. Fiona Love. Like, it's mad Fiona's as fire, bro. So I don't want to fucking hear you talk or speak on life. Vivian? Fiona's don't actually exist. It's mad Fiona's. You're chatting. Not a single Valerity exists. Fiona like Shrek? Bro, y'all are actually brain dead. Noel? Shay, please. Fiona ogre, ogre fine. Wait, ogre form kind of fine, but y'all not ready for that convo? Nigga, I've been ready for that convo. Niggas ain't looking. They don't understand. They don't use their eyes. It is what it is. Yasmin? Holy shit, that's a horrible name. I can't think of a bigger whore than a Yasmin. Just keeping it all the way honest and thorough. She won't be named Olivia, Yasmin, Tiffany, or Jasmine. Those are just not names that are happening, bro. Sorry. Raina? No. Yasmin's be scary? No, Olivia's be scary. Olivia's are fucking crazy, batshit crazy. Yasmin's just fuck a lot and lie about it. What's wrong with Olivia? Nothing. You just fucking crazy. I know hella Yasmin's. Yeah, nah, that's crazy. You must be from Texas. Are they all are they all Hispanic? I was wondering. Them hips go stupid? Annalise? What the fuck? 
I used to want my son to have a real strong name. I was going to name him David. But I don't really know many Davids, bro. OMG, bro. Texas is full of Yasmins. I know. Oh, you ain't got to tell me. David not strong? David is super strong. I just wouldn't actually... I wouldn't like... I wouldn't end my life on David is what I'm saying. Like, I wouldn't sell everything on David. I don't have to, like... That's not the hill that I'm dying on is what I'm trying to say. I don't know what they... I don't know why they hating on David. I get it. There are no existing... Like, there are no current Davids in the world right now. I get it. But, like... I still don't have a problem with David. William is strong. William is a fucking... Like, bro, stop. William is not the name to go for, bro. I'm going to name my kid Sasuke. I think that's setting him up, though. Bruce is strong. Bruce sounds like a fucking dog name, though. I name my dog Bruce. Not like a human. Hey, Sean, how you doing? That's Batman's name. I mean, that's cool, but I just, it's still a dog name in my personal opinion. You feel me? Nothing too crazy, though. It's all right. Went to school with siblings who were named today, tomorrow, and yesterday. I'm not about to ask what persuasion. Toji Fire? No, I'm not about to be a dad. I'm just saying, like, when I'm naming children. Like, my, my nephew's name, I know for a fact nobody in, the, in this chat would guess his name. Which is good, because I like it being unique and everything like that. But I, I just know for a fact. Like, some names you're just not guessing. Malachi. I don't hate Malachi. I guess that's what that's supposed to say. Dorian? Nah. But Dorian is someone else that I do know that is a close relative. I would say that. Jalen is absolutely not. Jalen is probably top 10 worst names all time, bro. I hate that fucking name. It's such an ugly fucking name, bro. Desmond and Jericho. Okay. Ever. Oh, wait. I thought you said Everest. That's Ernest. Jaden and Jalen. I don't mind Jaden, but Jalen, I just hate Jalen. Like, that and name I'm is just like that. bad vibes. It's going down. I'm with the money team. Lil Cash Alexander. Appreciate you with nine months. I don't know about it. I, I would prefer Alex. And it's like a super versatile name. I can name my daughter or my son Alex. Slapping the shit out of a nigga named Ernest. He getting his lunch though every day. You were a really nice guy in school. Why are you talking about like why are you talking like that? You would befriend Ernest. I would befriend befriend Ernest because I wouldn't want nobody picking on him. Shy is actually a fire name. Shy is a pretty cool name. Chauncey is cute. Sean C kind of sound like Chauncey if you say it fast enough. Shy is a great name, I'll be honest. Ernest in high school, that nigga was annoying. Here we go, bro. Now we getting Ernest hate for no reason. I knew a shy, annoying dude. If I was named Shy, I think I would be 10 times worse as a person. I'm just thinking of the way Shy comes off. My real name kind of come off crazy. When, like, I'm talking, I'm thinking about, like, when a girl say it, like, Shy sound fire, but, like, my name is good, actually, now that I think about it. I'm good. I'm, I'm, I'm actually okay. I'm actually perfectly fine with mine. Giovanni. <laughs> I'm going to respectfully disagree. Antonio? Nah. Hearing my name throws me off, but I love it sometimes. Almost. Wow. Almost said it by accident. Vincent is stronger than Giovanni. It is, but like those are both shit names. Minerva? What do you mean if you name your daughter Minerva, you're going to regret it? You you have the power. Dakota, a fire name? Yeah, I actually like Dakota on black girls, though. Dakota is a good name for black girls. 
like traditionally it's like a white girl name, but I think it's it will go good on black girls. They called him my dog name. All right, bro. Here we go again. The coat is a good boy name too, kind of. You don't really expect it, but it works. It fits. Detroit. All right, bro. Herschel is crazy. Yeah, Herschel is fucking insane. Herschel, it might be the worst fucking name of all time. You know what, Dayton? Herbert? Greg? Walter? Who in the fuck? Hubert? Who the fuck is named Hubert? I need the names Adriana and Brianna to go out of style fast. Yeah, I never not met an annoying Adriana. Brianna's be cool, though. They be cool, though, but, like, Adriana, nah. You could leave the Adrianas in the past. We could let them go. Nah, Bri generally, I'm saying Brianna's be cool, though. Maya's be cool. Maya's be fine as fuck. I've never hold on cuz my heart bro Maya bro oh my god bro oh my god yeah Maya's my god it that's why I don't want to name my daughter Maya imagine a nigga saying your daughter name and it's Maya I fucking kill myself in a video game I will end my life in front of my child and traumatize her I would make, I would like, nah, let me chill. Let me chill, bro. Let me chill. Imagine I step past my daughter's room. I overhear this nigga, Mike. I don't know why Mike is the name that's coming to me, but Mike is like moaning my daughter's name. My, uh, my, like, come on, bro. Nah, I'm just not hearing that. She getting an ugly fucking name. She getting Gertrude or fucking some shit that you can't just roll off the tongue easy with, bro. I don't want to hear that, bro. I just don't. just insane i know you saying hello i just just uh, like imagine walking past somebody's room bro i feel the same way about my son that's why i don't want to go too crazy you gotta chill you gotta scar your children i'm trying to scar them and build them characters samaj yeah no yeah no maybe name my daughter paris yeah if you want her to be a prostitute not a bad name La Diamond? Do you like your real name or fake name better? I actually prefer my real name when people say it. Because you kind of have to say it with a bit of a like... You kind of got to you kind of gotta get into your feminine bag when you say it. So I like my real name, actually. You don't really have a choice. Especially if you like me, like you got to say it a certain way. <laughs> you got to say it a certain way. Omar is fucking crazy. <laughs> that is top 10 worst names all time. Omar is fucking awful. Wow. Omar might be the worst name of all time. What the fuck? That's actually terrible. Saw a Requita once. I met an Oscar and he was a hoe. All the Oscars I know of in my mind are gay. Eugene? Holy fuck. There's no longer any Eugenes left on the planet. Those are, like, they're extinct. I'm going with Maya, Eve, Janae, Carmen. trying to think of, I'm thinking trying to think of one more you know who slept on I'm not going to include it in the top five but who slept on is Amanda's Amanda's are slept on Amanda's are very slept on 
I will say that. You saying no, but they're very slept on. Never met an never met an awful Amanda in my life personally. Just never happened. Yo, a leaf and validity gonna fuck one day, and it's gonna be crazy. They never even gonna expect it. The way they be going back and forth, like I feel like I can see it. I'm just saying. Shit, random as hell. Like, why y'all arguing in a time like this? A lot of pent up aggression, in my personal opinion. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> Niggas are wilding. You guys are going crazy. Jade. Oh, fuck, you're right. You're right. Jade is a good name. Jade is a good name. That means you're fucking all the chat? Nah, because I don't genuinely be like dick sucking. Like, somebody I genuinely dick suck? Like, okay, boom. Like, I know it's going to happen, but I don't be like genuinely dick sucking. Now, in person, if I genuinely dick suck like constantly, but that has to be a part of our banter. You feel me? Alexis is a good name, but it's just too weird now. Not really. You can still do Alexis. Alexis is still cool. Women that name start with an A and ends with a uh, are hell spawns. They're not. They're super nice people, generally, from my experience. I'm giving you anecdotes, but still. Yes, me threatening people is... That's the, what, what are the threats? Ain't no threat. I'm not doing nothing to you. Not yet. Yo, starting saving... Start saving VODs. Niggas got work. What the fuck? I don't know what that says because they bl they blurted it out. Ruby's a nice name. Ruby's cool. Ruby's a cool name. I'm not gatekeeping the vibe, bro. Chill. Amber? I am at an Amber in a minute. I forgot what the last name would be for a girl. For a guy, I really could, I really could care less, bro. You can name yourself fucking Leon. I wouldn't give a shit. Icon of cool. Okay, Naruto. Okay. We got four minutes left, chat. I'm going to just hit nine hours just because I can. beat her injury i said my hand i didn't say my wrist stop flicking your shit maybe you'd understand damn it's over chat it's been fun i'll be back um i got a feeling we gonna finish uh hollow night next time i get on stream which hopefully you know i can i'm not i'm not telling you for sure i'm gonna be back wednesday if I'm not back Wednesday, and this is a crazy time difference, right? If I'm not back Wednesday, you can expect to see me Saturday for sure. But I could be back Wednesday, but maybe not, but possibly. If I don't come back until Saturday, I promise you I will be back. What the fuck? Okay, if I don't come back Saturday... I promise I'll be back. No, if I don't come back Wednesday, I promise I'll be back Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. In those three days order. Promise. Promise. Y'all saying see you next week, but Saturday is this week. I'm just saying. That's not pre-lying. If you see me Saturday, no, it wasn't a lie. If you see me Wednesday, I still wasn't lying. But if you don't see me Wednesday and you see me Saturday instead, just know I was telling the truth. Just chill. Just chill. Just chill. Just chill. Watch Godzilla. I'm a bootleg.